Hello. Hello! Hi, I'm Christina and I'm from the USA. And I am Emily and I'm from the UK. I think, of course, like the pronunciation is quite different and some words are a little mm. bit different too. And the slang as and the well. Slang. Of course, there is a British English versus an American English when it comes to accents, mm. but I think the big difference is in words used. Yeah, yeah. I think like the actual words you use. Right. I personally think that the poor Americans need more explanation. Mm. What do I mean by that? Instead of saying something with a simple word, they have to explain what it is. Like a riding saddle. Ah. For example, when you ride a horse, it's a riding saddle, but in the UK, it's just a saddle. For example, glasses in the UK is just glasses, but right. in America, it's eyeglasses. Maybe People they say both. Yeah, I've yeah. heard both. Yeah. yeah, but why do you need a further explanation what it is? <laughs> I, glasses, right? Yeah, just glasses. Yeah, or yeah. like trash can. Trash, trash, trash can. You need to know that it's can. a can for the trash. You don't. Yeah. You can't just call it something else. You, you call it rubbish. The... Yo, that sounds so like rubbish. Like rubbish. I don't know. It sounds like weird as an American. Like yeah, you don't say, really say, say rubbish. that. Rubbish. <laughs> That's rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Oh, I know this is gonna be different. Eggplant. Aubergine. Yeah. Eggplant. I, eggplant. Like, it does not even look like an egg. It doesn't. It doesn't look like an egg. I don't know why we call it eggplant. It is a plant. Yeah. Oh, I do know both as well. You guys call it a can, we call it a tin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's like empty, so... Oh, okay, if, if there was like, beans in there or something, I'd be like, oh, can. can. I'm so confused. It's <laughs> because both of them make sense, I understand both, yeah. but it's a tin. Tin? Maybe we'll call it can. I think like, a knit sweater. A uh, jumper? Ah. A jumper. Sweater. Like, oh my god, I'm like wearing a sweater. It's, it's so, so like, cold it's outside. Kind of cold. It's like I need my sweater. <laughs> I like didn't know what jumper was for the longest time, like growing up, because I've heard it like here and there, but like but my friends and people around me, they don't say jumper, so. Yeah. Like my school uniform used to have this, like kind of thing. Of course, it wasn't a branded one, but it was it was a jumper. Ah. So it was like a blue, very ugly jumper. And then we would try to put coats <laughs> on top to like pretend that we had like style, style. fashion. But okay. then the like the headmistress would come by and be like, take that off. Oh. Because like you have to wear the uniform because you're not like old enough to wear your own clothes. Oh, I never had to use it or wear a uniform. uniform. No, that's another thing. Yeah. Binky. What? Binky. Binky? It's a pacifier. Pacifier? Because it pacifies the baby. If the baby's going like screaming and going out of its mind, you just give it and you're like silence. It's a pacifier for child. And that's why they call it a pacifier. Okay. Well this is easy. Okay. Good start, good start, yes. I don't remember how guys on the web looks like. Like that, ish. Huh? Underwear? You know, pants? Like, don't you see the little pocket where the guy's thing um, is? Num, num, num. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if it was okay, let me do a girl's underwear. The thing is, if I did a girl, okay, that's a girl's underwear. <laughs> I thought the guys would be more self-explanatory. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> but the girls' underwear is a bit too. Ah, uh, I mean, in the U.S., pants is can be like jeans can be just like any type of bottoms that you wear, but usually long. Let me teach you, it's like called long. trousers. Ah! It's mm. called trousers, not pants. Okay. This is gonna be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh. Okay. Can we put brands? <laughs> Oof, this is terrible. I feel like my Instagram does better pictures. I swear to God, I can sometimes draw. Mamma mia pizzeria, what the hell is this? Okay, so these chips, um, so we have ah. the little chips which come in the McDonald's thing, but fish and chips, right? Ah. So we have a fish here, a very beautiful fish, and it comes with chips, but the chips for fish and chips tend to be almost like big chunks that are fried rather than it being ah. like skinny. Thick french fries. Wedges. Yeah. I think you guys call it wedges, but we oh, call it chips. wedges, right, right. Yeah, so it's almost like, oh, and some of the times they keep the skin on as well, so it's like ah. the skin fried as well. It's actually quite nice. Oh. In the US, like, uh, this would always be called like french fries or wedges, like the thick cut ones, but 
Also, like I think because of the like fish and chips, that yeah. would be like in some restaurants. It, it would be called fish and chips, but obviously is course, coming it's from because it's yeah, going, it's yeah. going to take over. Right, like, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I drew Lay's potato chips. Those yeah. are crisps. <laughs> oh, right, right. You call it crisps, yeah, because they're right? crispy. It makes sense though, actually. Oh, this could be different. How do I draw this? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Uh, I, don't I know love how, how you're holding it like you are actually doing a masterpiece. She's just like, is this really not though? <laughs> Subway. I think she means the like train little thing train, that goes on the ground. But we call yeah. it the underground. Ah. This is subway and this is underground. Ah. This is subway. Yeah, yeah, that's subway too. <laughs> <laughs> subway is a sandwich. Underground is the train. Ah, it makes sense because that it's goes under, underground. It's underground. Um. First, second, third floor. Ground floor, first floor, attic. <laughs> Ah, it would be the top floor. Right, so right. In the attic. I've heard before. Usually in the U.S., like it would be first floor and then basement one, basement two, I think. But like I think maybe in like hotels yeah. or something. Sometimes yeah. there's a ground floor. Yeah, because so it sounds better. It depends, I think, on the building because mm. I'm quite sure like. I've seen ground, ground floor on, like in the lobby. Yeah, in the lobby. Yeah, I, I'm on the there ground be, floor. There would be an option mm. to press lobby or ground floor. I think it would just be a G. Today we saw the comparison between the British words and American words. If you actually enjoyed the video, subscribe and leave comments and follow us on Instagram. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.